This is James from Gamefront, and we're playing another game from October's Humble Choice. I believe this is the halfway mark. This is Ring of Pain. It's a card game dungeon crawler roguelite. Uh, it's a humble game. It's a humble bundle games. Humble games? It's developed by Humble Bundle? I don't know, but I'm excited to play it. I've heard that uh, it's fun to play, but doesn't have the longevity that you'd get with Slay of the Spire. Uh, Slay of Spire? I don't know. I did play it on Xbox Game Pass. All right, so this is a rat. It's going to do two damage, I assume? To me. Seeing combat outcomes mean you can focus on decisions. Okay, so it's going to take two health off of me. And I'm going to do three damage to it, so this is going to kill it. Okay, so I get one green glob. I don't know, that must be some sort of currency. I like the uh, art so far. When I saw the artwork on the front, it kind of reminded me of one of the characters from Five Nights at Freddy's. Inspect a card. Oh, creature attacks include physical and piercing. Okay, so piercing damage will go past my armor, and I have two armor. So basically, that means that it's going to block two. I think that's what it means. And it's going to give me two globs of currency. It has one armor, so I'm going to do two damage to it. And it's going to do three damage to me. And he's got a little bit more speed. Okay. Creature's speed is higher. It attacks first. That makes sense. Which took three health off. I did the math right. And then I did two damage to it. And I got three globs. Let's inspect this. I can't inspect the potion. Fine. Mm -hmm. Talk to creature. Now this is very creepy looking. Oh, I don't know if I ever said what the game is called. It's called Ring of Pain. And my understanding was... Oh, there's a dog barking in my apartment. That's not cool. My understanding was that it was a circular thing and you could see what was coming. But we'll see. Hello! Hello. F Hello, friend. Oh, that's its voice. Pass me by and through the nest. Take the light with dark contests. <laughs> okay, select the pass button. Okay. Ooh, a candle. Items may have stats and item effects, which you gain while equipped. 20% of stealth chance. Okay. And now what is this? Just going into the hole? Uh, is this the restart of the ring? Diving deeper, challenge steeper. Oh, now it is circular. Stealth will help you pass hostile creatures unharmed. Failing to stealth gives the creature you pass a free attack. Ooh, gross. My stealth chance. Chance to avoid getting attacked. 20, so I basically get a 22% chance. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's attack this rat. It's got a speed of three. I got four, so I attack first, which means doesn't, doesn't that mean I attack, it dies, and it doesn't even get to hurt me? Yeah, that's exactly what it means. And I can save this potion for later, right? Because I don't need 11 health. Let's attack this guy. Some creatures trigger a death effect when killed. Ooh. Explodes. That's not good. Your speed is higher. I attack first. It parried. The explosion's going to do six damage, which I'm fine with. Okay. 
Let's heal up. All's well. Two doors. One backward, one forward. I feel like there's treasure to be had still. <gasps> A mimic. A mimic? Or it's just treasure? Choose chaotic healing. 75% chance to heal for 25% chance to explode for five damage. Ugh. Or plus one petrify on attack. That's the one I want. The other one sounds good, but a little too dangerous. What is this? It's a level up? I feel like speed is kind of more important because that's the best kind of armor is killing something before it even gets to you. Choose mushrooms. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Gain plus one heart stat on dungeon exit. I like that. Plus three petrify and attack if attacking second in combat. Wait, but it's going to give me negative three speed. Oh, but that'll kind of negate the other thing I did. All right, we're going to take this one. That means that I'll get stronger and stronger as time goes on. Speed of five. Oh, and these mushrooms only work three times. Hmm. Now I do attack before this guy. And he's got four health, so he's still gonna do damage to me though. But not this time. I guess this'll a new path. So on um, I don't know why I didn't get an extra stat there. That's going to cost 75 or I'm going to get 75. Summon nestling. Summon a random creature. A random nest area creature. Okay. Spells are usable and be, can, can be cast on demand. Some have a cooldown displayed on the card. So I don't want to use it. I definitely want some more health. What is this thing? A roaming fire bead? It's got one piercing damage. That's not so bad, but it explodes with four. Hmm. 14 speed why would why in the hell would I want that thing there unless it's gonna kill things for me don't have enough Plus five soul damage to random creature if you have five or fewer items equipped. I do have five or fewer. Oof. That was dangerous, but it killed the snake that I got out. Okay, that thing will kill me. So how do I use it?
It's only got two health, right? I think this might kill me. No. What does this thing do? Ten speed. But only one damage. I don't know what happens now. I think I'm just going to get killed. Yeah, I don't know how to use that. I guess a uh, dungeon exit. Can I sneak past? I don't have a very good chance at it. Damn it. I'm in a I'm in a pretty tough spot here. That will kill me and that will kill me. Spotted. So that's it. I died. My, that's my first run at Ring of Pain. But I couldn't really use any of that stuff, it seemed. Total souls collected, 26. Creatures killed, 7 minutes and 44 seconds. Yeah, I'll try again. Well, this is mighty kind of them to give me a level up right at the beginning. What is this one? I'm going to go for all speed because I really would like to get this. So we're going to go at the same time. And we're going to go at the same time. But I can't really see what's on the other side of these rings. I think I want to go this way. Heal up. And a mimic. Clarity. Okay. I don't know what clarity does. Freeze the closest four cards when hit. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this thing's going to get me killed. This guy's got three speed. So I can move on. Ooh. And that explosion's gonna do six damage. Okay, so now he's gonna get killed. This guy can't attack me. And I should be able to kill him before he even comes alive. Okay, this is really good. Deal one damage to random creature when hit. Okay. Five soul damage to random creature if you have... I'm going to get this one. Ritual garment. I don't think I want to blow him up. Finders, keepers, ooh. Just general, okay, well, thank you. Just armor for no reason from my ring of pain friend? Well, I'm gonna take that. Oh, and a level up. Some creatures perform an action after each turn. Their next action is shown above the card. Okay. Oh. Move and prepare to self-destruct. Oh. Damn.
That thing's gonna kill me. Okay. I should be able to sneak away with no problem. Three damage. Reusable if killed. An axe. Okay, or plus four attack when below 25% health. That seems pretty good. And it gives me, oh, but it replaces my helmet. Which gives me one heart. One awareness. I guess I'll take the X. <sighs> I guess I have to just go to the next level and hope for the best. Okay. Oh, not what I meant to do. But now I should be able to kill him. I don't know, I'm probably gonna die. Minus four, because he's got three armor. Yeah, he kills me every time. I could kill this guy, but then he's gonna blow me up. Worth it. Killed the guy next to me anyways. Alright, so I made it a little further this time. Let's see. Maybe I don't want to attack everything like I have been. 5% parry chance, or just some badass stuff. I think I'm going to go for that. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. There we go. If I go this way, I should be able to level up. More armor, that's not bad. Or more speed. Or I don't know what this does. been going for speed, but I think maybe the armor is what I should be going for. We'll save that for the end. Okay. I don't know if the... Your speed is higher, I attack first, but I'm gonna get blown up as soon as I kill him. This guy's dead. What? I thought he was out of health. Item choices can be re-rolled. Re-rolling helped build your inventory. Select re-roll. Plus three souls on kill. Or plus one care clarity. What does clarity do? I guess this is a good one to try now. Since I don't have much. Drinking a health potion while at full health gives that. But I can't. Okay, I'll take it, but... All right, I'll take it. I don't like it, though. I wanted to re-roll that extra item. Sh 
Shadow Strike. Guaranteed crit for the next three attacks. All right. the hell am I supposed to do here? So when this guy explodes, he's going to kill me. So I got to try to sneak, which was actually worth it. Oh my God, was it worth it? I had no idea that's the way that was going to work. Curse resistance. They've been trying to get me to get that. Soul damage to random creature after attack. Minus one attack. Oh, but that gives me three. It takes away some of that. I think that's a pretty good weapon. Okay. Oh, and another? Five soul damage to a random creature if you have five or few items equipped. Uh, this is pretty good. So I'm going to not go to the question mark because I feel like the question mark is to head not to where I'm going. Like, it's, it's to a secret area. I'm not ready for secrets. I just want to beat the Ring of Pain. Okay. I attack him first and he's dead. I mean, why would I not just keep going for more damage? Or more speed? Or more damage? Or more speed? <sighs> I'm going to go for damage. Good. Oh boy, am I lucky here. <gasps> well, at least it didn't blow up my potion. And now we'll get speed. Oh, I just got cursed? Why? But I took the curse away. That was weird. Your attacks ignore creature defense for the next three combat rounds? I can buy this. Let's do it. Chaotic underwear. Combat attack order is reversed. Lowest speed attack first? No, thank you. Good luck, sucker. Oh, reroll. Intimidate poisonous creatures on attack. And it's plus two. Okay. I'm going to go for this. Speed eight. So we'll go at the same time. Got him. Full health will give me, whoops, an extra health thing, I thought. Guess it didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, I do think I like this better. I'm going to change it out. And moving on. 
heal one on kill, that's good. But it really takes away a lot of insight. But it gives me more speed. <sighs> I don't have enough? I guess heal it is. Damn it. Can I sell my stuff? No? Well, I gone done screwed up this time. That was the worst. But. I guess I'll save that. I can't use it yet. Let's move this way. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do. I guess I can try to get away. Oh. What is that? What is that? Is this a curse? Soul spill? Spend all souls. Each one deals one soul damage to a random creature. No, I like the one I got right now. Oh, I meant to kill him. Level up. Curse resist. Oh. Oh. So it's 73% chance going to curse me? Not worth it. But, actually, because I can heal up right there. Well, I think it might be worth the risk. And now I get one extra health. We're moving deeper. Uh, apparently, this is my good. This is my final run. All right. I've gone far enough that wherever I get to in this run, uh, there's no way I'm going to get further than this. I mean, in this playthrough. Let's see. Six speed. I go first, and he's got 12 damage. He's got 12 health. Oh, he's got 12. Wow. I don't like that guy. I definitely go first here. Ignore it for the first. Okay. We'll ignore this guy. What the hell just happened? Shields up for the next combat. He does quite a bit of damage. I'm going to try it. Okay. Got him. Do I want to spend the 20 on that? Freeze front cards. No, I like what I got. Doesn't respawn very often, but it's a good one. Ugh. Ooh. Eight. I'm faster. That guy's dead. I'm going to go for the Mimic. Heat Shield. Nullify Explosions. Explosion damage three times. I'm going to reroll. Intimidate poisonous creatures. Splash damage. I don't remember what that one does. Oh, yeah, absolutely want to get rid of that. It was good for a minute, but now it's over. 
It, the empty slots have uh, disappeared on my on my bottom part. So now I have no clarity, and I'm okay with that. So I should be able to kill him. An axe. I'll take it. I'm faster than him. What's going to happen here? Poison me? A poison hive? I'm gonna do this. Defense up for this attack. Oh, it still hurt me though, huh? Jeez. A snake with 14 speed. Frozen. Oh, wait a second. How did I get killed? I thought he was frozen. I guess the spine back. Does six damage when you attack? I guess I just didn't realize it. But that was a pretty good run. What is this? Did I unlock something? Unlocked tasty beans. Beats the hell out of the alternative. What does it do? Fractal. Okay, these must just be things that I can find next time I go on a ring run. A ring run. All right, let's look at the main menu and then we'll wrap it up. I mean, this game, I love this game. This is the type of game that I could lose my life to. It kind of reminds me of the joys I get from playing. Um, there was a really, there's a lot of games like this that I like. Uh, one of them is like Hell Train, I think is what's called. That's a really fun game. Similar. There's uh, uh Minion Masters, but maybe only because of the cards. I don't know. They're, this game's classy. It's fun. It's a little mind melt. Oh, and there's Twitch integration. What? Daily Dungeon unlocked. I gotta see what this Twitch integration is. Oh, doesn't tell you. Okay. Some cool razor chroma. What does that mean? Oh, I think that's like uh, if you have um, like peripherals, like mice or stuff that can do lighting stuff in a light with it. That's cool. I don't have it, but it's cool. All right. Play with tutorial. I don't think I'm going to need to do the tutorial anymore. Daily dungeon. Mm, I'm not. Well. I'll do one aggressive run at the daily dungeon, and then I'm going to be done. Only stalker items spawn. Strong bruise. Potion heal twice as much and spawn half as often. Okay. Let's see how we do at the daily dungeon. One, oh, that's a 100% stealth chance. It's like, well, what the hell not? Like, why wouldn't you take that? 5%, and then you get also armor. I got to go with that. And I love this one. This thing's going to blow up at me, isn't it? Oh. Jeez. What's this? Swamp matter? Plus three damage to poison creatures or skip past creature after attack is 20% chance. I'll take it. Oh, thank God I got this. We need to get some speed up so I can attack these things faster. <gasps> Burst strike. 
your first attack each dungeon is a crit. Hell yeah. So I will survive it. My question is, I go faster than him and it's going to be a crit hit. Is it per first attack each dungeon? Just each dungeon. Yeah, I was wrong. Ah, <sighs> so there's a good chance I'll get... Nope, it didn't work. Damn it all to hell. All right, at least this first attack... Oh, there's not going to be that many here. 14. Okay, I'll go first. And I can get past his armor. And it will be a crit hit. It's the only way I might be able to get away with this. Okay, well, there goes that. What is this again? Plus three damage. So it's going to kill him, but he's going to kill me. I don't know. I guess I'm going to sneak this way. Uh, what a coward I am. I've never gotten through. Well, let's see. Attempt one. I'm in 66th place. Well, bustle my fungus. Uh, I'm not going to try again. It was fun. I might stream this game soon. I love Twitch integration streams. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this game just really excited me about the October humble choice. If you're gonna, if you're on the fence, I think this is a, this is the kind of game that can give you hours of entertainment. Uh, just to pick up, put down, maybe in between work on your computer. If you have one of those uh, types of jobs that you can just have your own computer. But uh, we're going to trudge along and we're going to get through all these October humble choice games. Catch you soon. Mm -hmm.